Okay, so we're up to the entry, continuing. Eating and drinking. He says, You have to pray before you eat. And this is a big obligation. Like it says in the Zohar. Meaning to say that a person has to pray every day for his parnasa. Every day a person has to pray that Hashem should give him what he needs. We know in the desert they had the man. They had the bread that fell from the sky. And everybody would not have to work. All you have to do is go get it. Go collect it from the field. But it's going to come to you. It's going to come. You just have to go find it where it is. Now, the Midrash tells us, if you had big zikhut, if you had a merit, you open your front door, you found the man right there. If you don't have zikhut, where did you have to go? You have to go farther and farther in the field to go get your man. The, 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 the Mafarshim, the, the Chazal tell us that this never changed. The way Hashem gives Parnasa is the same. Continuously using the same rules. Someone who has zikhut, his Parnasa comes to him. He will have to only work nearby. His parnasa will be easy. And he just has to go and collect. A person who doesn't have zikhut, he'll have to work harder. And he'll have to go farther. And travel more. And do more. And hustle more. In order to get the money he needs. So if a person has to know, it's not about the effort you put in. It's not about how many connections you have. Or what job you do. What field you do. It's about if you have zikhut. If you have the decree from Shamayim that you're supposed to be a millionaire. If you're supposed to be a millionaire, you could sell tomatoes on a corner. You'll become a millionaire. It's not because you're a barber or because you're a doctor or because you're a lawyer or a jeweler. That's why it makes you a millionaire. It's because Hashem skazal dengi dayot. That's it. Man is decreed that you deserve. So therefore, you have zuchud. You have zuchud. You don't have zuchud. Ta'ase mash ta'ase. You're going to do whatever you want to do. You're going to be a lawyer, a doctor, a jeweler. You're going to be all those hats. You're not supposed to be a millionaire. You're not going to be. There's nothing to go. There's no way to go around the decree of Hashem. So therefore, we learned this from the man. Person has to focus on having the zuchut. What's the zuchut? Pray. To pray to Hashem. Ask Hashem. Person thinks, no, but, you know, how am I going to convince the customer? How am I going to go? What should I tell him? Should I kiss up to him? Should I, should I flatter him? Should I, should I go bend over backwards for him? What, who, who should I speak to? What's the connection to have? How do I start? How do I get my feet wet? How do I get the investment? We're thinking too much about in the field when we have to think about Baruch Hu. He's the one who says, nothing will go. You can have the biggest cup. If Hashem doesn't open the faucet, nothing's going to happen. So ask the, the big papa, ask Adosh Baruch Hu to open the faucet. That's all that matters. So therefore he says, you're coming, right? Yes, yesterday was Monday. Man day, right? Man day. The first day that everybody goes and gets their man. But you have to remember, Monday is not the work day. Monday is man day. What's the man? Ask Hashem to give you the man. Don't rely on people. Don't say, oh, my boss, my job, <coughs> my company, my customers, give me parnasa. Give me parnasa. I'll tell you a personal story. I got married. I didn't have a job. <coughs> I didn't have a bank account. Nothing. Baruch Hashem, I'm here. I survived, right? Why? Because I told, I sold myself. It's Hashem who gives. If Hashem can give, He can give to the, the elephants, right? How much does it cost to, to raise the elephant in Africa in the zoo? They need sixty thousand dollars a year, a year worth of care to give them their food, the doctor, the the, the living space, the, paying the people to take care of them. It takes up sixty thousand dollars a year. Hashem gives these elephants, thousands of them, in the African tundra, clean. They survive, they're not going extinct. Hashem gives them, in the in the animals they eat, and the place they live, $60,000 a year clean, worth of stuff. Hashem gives them, and if Hashem gives them, He cannot give to us, how much more so He can give to us? Easy. Why? Because we have a relationship. All they do is eat, sleep, procreate, and go to the bathroom. That's all they do. And Hashem gives them $60,000 a year. He can't give us Double, triple. He can't give us more. Why? Because of course he should give us. We have a relationship with him. We're close to him. We do mitzvot. We pray to him. So if a person has to realize, for Hashem, it's very easy. It's very easy. But Apchi could give us all, all so much. All the question is, is if we have the zuchut. We have the zuchut to get that. So therefore, a person has to say to Hashem, Hashem, I want to pray for my parnasa. I realize parnasa is from you. Nobody else. 
He says, and therefore, when a person prays, the Zohar says, then he'll be able to have the zuchut to get his parnasah easily. But if a person thinks he has to work do and do and do, he's going to realize that even if you plan, 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 do and do and do, everything could fall and there's always things that are in control. A guy bought a huge house. He says, I said, I have the best house. I have a beautiful house. But what? There's leaks. Oh, there's leaks. It's not in my control. It's not up to me. All of a sudden there was a leak. You could be the millionaire. You could have everything ready. There's always going to be things that are in control. So you have to realize you have to pray to Hashem anyways. Do what you need to do in the end. Do it in the beginning.